I get a bunch of questions in my DMs and unfortunately I'm not able to respond to all of them. So I decided to collect some of the best questions and some of the weirdest questions, drop them in just this full length YouTube video. So hopefully you guys can get answers to some of your guys' questions and hopefully I can cover just like the majority of the questions that you guys have asked me in my DMs. So without further ado, let's get started. What inspired you to start trading? Okay, so this kind of just happened naturally. Me getting into crypto first was me just having blind luck with the markets. And then from there, that kind of made me want to get into trading and do the crypto shit every single day. But in terms of like actual inspiration, I feel like that came from me watching YouTube videos and seeing what people were able to do with uh, understanding price action and being able to understand a uh, marketplace and be able to make a ton of money from it. For someone with your level of success, how do you handle failures and setbacks in your life? All right, this is a great question because failures and setbacks happen at every single level. I feel like a lot of people see a guy like me who's really successful, 22 years old, think he has everything in the world, but it's far from the case. Um, there is a really great story about this uh, one businessman. I forget who it was, but he tells the story of him crying in his like $30 million home because he thinks his business is going to go bankrupt. And that's just a part of the game. It's just like tr trading trends in, um, in day trading, you know, in order to have higher highs, you got to have higher lows. And it's the same thing. You got to roll with the punches and, you know, sometimes life hits you with some really crazy big setbacks, but there's no reason for you to, you know, just take that hit and then never get up from it. You got to take those hits and get back up and keep moving forward because, again, this is our only life that we have, so might as well make it the best one possible. I hear a lot of different opinions online. How important do you think networking is for business? <laughs> okay, this one's funny. I have a odd take on this. I think this is different than what most like rich people will say there's levels to this. So first level is somebody who has no money, um, isn't making anything and they think networking is going to help them make money. It's not, you have to start making money first. And then from there, networking might help you a little bit. Like if you're t making $10,000 a month, networking might help you a little bit by just being around like-minded people. And then in turn, because you're around like-minded people, you motivate each other and then boom, you end up making more money. The only time that networking is actually beneficial is just constantly knowing a guy. So for me, for example, I don't go out of my way to network. And a lot of you guys go out of your way to network like, oh, I'm going to go to this event because it's gonna be such a great networking opportunity. There's too many people in this world that do too many different things where if you go to that networking event, you're probably just going to make a couple friends. Um, and if that's what you want, cool. But the best part about networking is just knowing a guy that knows a guy. So for example, within the day trading niche, um, you don't really need to do any networking. So that's kind of why I stay away from it. But as you guys know, I have several other businesses. So sometimes let's see, let's say I need a paid ads guy. That's when I can reach out to one of my friends and he, he'll be like, oh, this guy helped me with this. And then boom, just by me knowing a guy who knows a guy in turn that helps my business make more money. Should you be going out of your way to network? I really don't think it's necessary because as you start making more money, your circle just naturally grows with you. So when you're making $10,000 a month, the people that you're hanging out with are going to be way different than the people that you hang out with when you're making $100,000 a month. When you're making a million dollars a month, the people that you hang out with are going to be way different than the people that you hang out with when you're making $100,000 a month. That's just how it works. And in turn, as your income grows, your network grows naturally. I think networking is a, uh, very forced thing that a lot of people make excuses um, to go out and do when it's just a waste of time, in my opinion. You lit, twin, but how does someone like you maintain a work-life balance? Okay, so this is something that I kind of live my life by. Everything in sprints, I mean, obviously doing the right things, right percentages in sprints. So I think that full-on 24-7 Goggins mindset is a little bit much and only certain certain people are able to do that because in reality 
what are we working towards to live a fun, happy, enjoyable life? And if you find joy in the pain 24 seven, then yeah, sure, go for it. That's a David Goggins type of person for you. But for me, I really do like enjoying my life. So again, you have to keep in mind everything in sprints. So when I am working, I'm working my ass off. When I'm enjoying my life, I'm enjoying my fucking life, you know? I'm really enjoying it. So I like to have this kind of percentage. Some, uh, some people say like 80, 20, you know, 80% rise and grind, 20%, um, you know, just relax, enjoy your life. But that's the biggest thing, man. Like for a guy like me, you know, I'm, I'm young and I, I don't wanna pull out the phrase like, oh, you're, all, you're never going to be 20 again, but you know, let's be honest, it's true. Like I'm making a lot of money while I'm at a young age and I definitely want to enjoy my life and you guys should too, but there's definitely a time and a place. If you're not at a point in your life where you should be like enjoying it, then you shouldn't even be enjoying your life, right? Like if I think back, if you're only making like 5K a month, you know, you gotta lock in and change some things in order to enjoy your life to the fullest because my weekends out are 100x what a regular person's weekend out would be not in terms of the stuff that's being consumed or like where or like what's going on it's just i get to enjoy it so much more because of how much work that i put in beforehand hey tjr i love your content if i just started trading a few days ago is it smart for me to buy your mastermind okay lots of mentors will tell you yes please go and buy it i'm going to say not right now but I'll do a little preface, okay? So if you just started day trading, I just released a video on how I would start day trading again if I was a beginner. Go watch that, okay? And you'll see that I give you guys some steps to go through, okay? First step is going to be do the baby pips course. Second step is going to be watch my boot camp. Third step is going to be do the trading transformation and really just like binge as much of my content as possible. And then after the fact, once you fully, fully like understand trading as a whole and understand the foundations of trading, understand risk management and understand psychology. And let's say there's some really specific questions that you need answered or you think you would benefit from going through a full months long worth of teaching live with me and being able to ask me direct questions and you think that will accelerate your trading to the next level, then that's when I would go through my mastermind, but I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you guys and be like, yeah, it's your first day trading, you know, cop the shit, link in bio, you know? Big bro, may I please temporarily hold seven bands? <laughs> no, um, but <laughs> uh, I get this question a lot I, and I know it's a joke, but there are genuinely people that DM me and like, that's the thing. I don't even know if this DM was a joke. Um, a lot of people will DM me and be like, hey, bro, some crazy shit just happened. Like, my my grandma's in the hospital, and I'm so sorry for your grandma, but going and DMing me to fix a problem that's, like, it literally is nowhere near my problem. Like, you know, what happens if my grandma goes in the hospital? Then I'll take care of her, but why aren't you doing the shit that you should be doing in order to take care of your grandma right now? You know, so a lot of people love coming to me about their emergency reason to need 500 to a thousand dollars. And it's like, look, man, um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but you should have been prepping for this. What are some qualities you look for when choosing your business partners, employees, and friends? This is a tough one. Um, I think, Loyalty is a is a huge one. I think uh, that's probably one of the biggest things that I've learned is like, if you go to start a a business with someone, then you got to know that they're going to be through all the ups and downs with you. And then on top of that, I would go with honesty, like just being straight up honest with me. You know, if a business partner is going through some shit. I want to know about it. Um, I definitely don't want no shady back end shit happening. Um, and the same thing applies to friends. I keep my circle super small. And that's something that I low key need to work on, not on the friend group, but on growing my business. Like I definitely need to hire more people, but I'm a super skeptical person. I'm very, very high bar that you need to cross in order for me to hire you. So yeah, I, I don't, Honestly, like I'm still kind of a beginner at hiring people and um, letting people in my friend group. So it's honestly something that I need to work on. 
Daddy TJR, can I please get in your Discord? I'm begging you. No. Um, the Discord is closed, and I'll give you guys a couple of reasons for this. So first and foremost, um, look, uh, I would like to make a formal apology to the entire trading community. You know, like I had a Discord, and I still do have a Discord, but it's just been closed for the past seven months, and it will remain closed forever for the rest of time on earth you will never be able to join tjr trades discord for a certain hundred dollar fee per month okay because one main reason uh signals are a fucking scam and this is my apology i did the signal shit for like a year straight before i realized how harmful it was to the trading community and this will lead into what I'm going to say next is I closed down my discord so that I could open up the mastermind. I stopped providing just trade alerts for people where they're not learning, where they're literally just joining the discord and saying, Oh, this guy's a profitable trader. I'm just going to copy his trades in turn. What do you guys learn from that? Absolutely nothing. And now I'm doing that pretty much for free on kick every single morning, but without calling out the trade. So if you guys genuinely learn from me analyzing it live, then bet, watch it for free. I'm giving you guys that in free value. But for the most part, people are joining signal groups and joining fucking discords because they just want the easy way out. And that's like, honestly, like that's the biggest leech in the biggest black hole in the trading community right now are signal groups. Signal groups are probably the worst thing and the biggest detriment to learning to new trader traders trying to learn how to trade. And that's why I opened up the mastermind because in the mastermind, am I giving you signals? Hell no. But what am I doing? I'm teaching you how to fish, okay? I'm not just putting fish on the plate and being like, eat. I'm saying, look, this is exactly how you do it. I'm going to teach you front end to back end exactly how you're supposed to trade. And then on top of that, I give you a 100K free funded, funded account challenge where once you guys have everything necessary in order to turn profitable, you can boom, end up flipping that. And then, you know, 10% on a $100,000 funded account challenge, you're making 10K a month from that. See, so like that to me is infinitely more valuable than just saying, hey, copy my trades for a small $100 a month. We're not doing that shit around here. What's one piece of advice you would give younger aspiring TJR? Hmm. Man, that's a good one. Um, there's a lot of things. Have patience, be consistent, work hard, even though I was working hard, but you know, just have that as a reminder. Be patient, be consistent, work hard, and see everything with a much longer term vision. A lot of people get super soaked up in the super short term, like, oh, I want to turn profitable tomorrow. I need to turn profitable in the next week. If you just remove those short term limitations from you and just think long term, like, hey, how will understanding the skill of day trading benefit me in five years from now? You know, you're going to be in a much better spot than somebody who's instantly trying to turn profitable in a single day or somebody in a fucking signal group. <laughs> hey, bro, just curious as to when you're going to oil up. Let me know. <laughs> okay, I know this is a joke or no, a lot of you guys aren't joking, but I made my promise, guys. Band, band together 10,000 people once I get 10,000 viewers on a kick stream, the very next kick and not botted. Okay. Once I get 10,000 viewers on a kick stream, I'm getting in a baby pool full of oil. You guys heard it here first. And I've been saying this from the fucking jump. So now you guys know. Final question. Sadly, I missed your mastermind 3.0. Are you doing another one soon? And if so, how can I make sure I don't miss it again? All right. Yeah. So I'm doing the mastermind 4.0 right now. So you guys don't want to miss it. There's a link in literally every single YouTube video description. There's including this one mink. Okay. There's also a link in every single bio that I have. So TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, it's all there. Um, and unfortunately for some of you guys, you guys are going to get denied. There's a lot of people that are in my comments like, Hey, I, I tried to get into mastermind 4.0, but for whatever reason, my, my call keeps getting canceled every time. Um, yeah, bro. Cause you, cause you're not, um, you're not ready for it and I'm doing you a fucking favor. <laughs> okay. Only a certain amount of people get let in every single time. And you're lucky if you are able to get in. A lot of people tried to get into Mastermind 3.0. They weren't let in. And we've already denied pretty much the same amount of people just now. And Mastermind 4.0 hasn't even been uh, open for like 
It's only been open for like a week and a half now. So take your shot. We have like two factor authentication. You got to fill out a form. And then on top of that, you guys got to go through an interview. So best of luck to all of you guys who want to try and get into Mastermind 4.0. If you guys can, I'll see you guys inside. If not, better luck next time if there even is a next time. Um, and with that being said, we'll wrap this right up. Hopefully I answered some of your guys' questions. I really appreciate you guys for tuning into this and I appreciate all the DMs, okay? I, I don't get to say this enough. A lot of you guys DM me and tell me like really awesome stories and it sucks because I get so many DMs where some people are saying bullshit, some people are hating and then my DMs just get clogged and full of a lot of trash and I know a lot of you guys send a lot of love so this is me trying to alleviate that pain of you guys asking real legitimate questions. So I appreciate it, boys. Much love. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Peace out.